Have you ever noticed that the wealthiest among us don't always dress in luxury brands? It's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? We often expect those with vast fortunes to be clothed in the finest silks and diamonds. But more often than not, you'll find billionaires striding about in simple, unassuming attire. This is a clear indicator that wealth and luxury aren't always synonymous. The spending habits of the rich differ significantly from those of the average person. While the average Joe may save up for that designer watch or coveted pair of shoes, the affluent often choose to invest their money elsewhere. This isn't to say they don't appreciate or indulge in luxury, but their approach is markedly different. The difference in spending habits is what separates the rich from the average person. But why is that so? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this intriguing concept in the following scenes. Let's start by understanding the spending habits of an average person. The world we live in is a consumer's paradise. There's always something shiny and new that catches our eye, isn't there? And more often than not, we're tempted to reach for our wallets. For many, spending is tied to the pursuit of instant gratification. You know the feeling, the rush of joy when you buy that designer bag you've been eyeing, or those expensive shoes that make you feel like a million bucks. It's about buying things that serve as visible status symbols, things that say to the world, look at me, I'm successful. In fact, a study showed that the majority of people tend to spend their money on material goods rather than experiences simply because they're easier to show off. So if that's the average person, what about the rich? When it comes to the rich, their spending habits are a different story entirely. Rather than splurging on the latest designer fashion or an overly ostentatious car, they're more likely to invest their money. This could be anything from a promising startup to real estate or even a rare piece of art. For them, the true value of money lies in its potential to grow and create more wealth. Now this isn't to say that the wealthy don't appreciate a fine watch or a well-tailored suit. Rather, when they do spend, they often prioritize utility and quality over brand names. They understand that a high price tag doesn't necessarily equate to high quality. As such, they're more likely to buy a timeless piece that lasts instead of a trendy item that will be out of style by next season. But it's not all about investment and practical purchases. Many wealthy individuals also believe in giving back. They might donate a significant portion of their wealth to charities, educational institutions or other philanthropic endeavors. In fact, for some, their biggest expenditure might be their contributions to society, not their personal luxuries. This approach to money is a lesson in itself. It's a reminder that true wealth isn't about flashy displays of opulence. It's not about what you wear, the car you drive, or the size of your house. Instead, it's about what you do with your money, how you use it to make a difference in the world. The rich understand that true wealth isn't about what you wear or own, but what you do with your money. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Let's pause and take a moment to reflect on what we've explored. We've seen the paradox of luxury, where the rich often abstain from flaunting their wealth with high-end fashion. We've compared this to the spending habits of the average person, who may be more inclined to spend on luxury items. This contrast illuminates a crucial difference in perspective on wealth. The rich tend to focus more on investing their money and giving back to the community. They understand that wealth isn't solely about material possessions, but a tool to make meaningful contributions and create lasting value. Now let's think about our own spending habits. Are we making purchases to impress others or are we spending to enrich our lives and those around us? Are we investing in our future or are we caught up in the cycle of instant gratification? The wealthy teach us that true richness comes not from what you own, but from what you do with what you have. They show us the power of financial discipline the importance of investing and the joy of giving back. By adopting these habits, we can not only improve our financial health, but also enrich our lives and the lives of those around us. Remember, it's not about how much money you have, but how you use it that truly counts.